Hello and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. This is part 7 already. Man, I'm just, I'm loving this game. Playing it so much. I'm doing this a lot more efficiently than I did in my last game as well. So, I'm happy about that. I believe I'm building a laboratory right there. Yeah, I'm going to wait till next month until I get my new fancy uh, equipment stuff to do the um, to do the Alien base assault, which I believe is in the Caribbean. Oh, last time it was in the Caribbean. This time it's in East Africa. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna wait till I have more armor and stuff to do that. Large scout. Oh, it's a it's a landing. Okay. So we don't have to scramble our interceptors to shoot it down. I'm gonna skip this this setup here because it, I mean you've seen it. I've done it a thousand times. What? Alien grenade. When did I get this? Huh. Looks like I captured this. That's really cool. Wow, I got an alien grenade. Not that I use grenades, but cool. Now hold on, wait, where are my nanofiber vests? Okay, there's one. I know I have another one somewhere. This will reduce panic in... Russia too, which is great because it's a little bit high. Alright, so this was a landing. Landings are a bit difficult. Wow, look at this map. Roger that big sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy. Interesting looking map. Where is the UFO? Okay, so it looks like the map is oriented this way. Okay, the UFO's over here. Okay figure out what the heck this map was. Man, this is a weird map. I've never seen this before. Alright, well, whatever. Let's do our thing. Let's get our heavies out. Let's get out of this freaking hole. I think I'll focus all my guys over here on the right side. Well, maybe not. Maybe the left side's better. Um... Yeah, I think I'll focus on the left side. Have all the aliens on one side of me. That seems like the best plan, Stan. Unless, of course, your name isn't Stan. Overwatch. Where's my sniper? Sniper! There you are. Get your sexy, sexy butt over here. So you can move up here and take some shots from the high ground. Or do some shooting, I should say, from the high ground. To not be shot from the high ground. Yeah. So moving him over there was a bad idea, however I don't think he's going to die or anything because of it. And if he does, I'll feel very dumb. I don't want to dash him over there for fear of finding some bad guys. Oh yeah, I have a recruit in this, uh, I think it's this guy. Yes, it's this guy. I know, I know this guy's the recruit because I forgot to give him a laser rifle because I'm the best player ever. Anyway, um, he's going to be staying in the back, taking some shots, not hitting anything because he's a recruit. Let's have our heavy run up here. Oh, three floaters. Well, good thing I didn't move anyone else. Excellent maneuvering, fellows. Truly superb. Do you still have eyes on them? Crap, that means they have eyes on you and we will probably all shoot you all this turn. So... You can move right there. And take a shot. 72 chance per hit. That's pretty good. And you missed. You can go into Overwatch. Um. You can go right here. And then you. This is great. I have such a... I have a cunning plan. 
You can move right here. And then throw a smoke grenade to cover all of their butts. Huzzah! Just their butts, though. The rest of them I don't care about. There we go. Yeah! And I hope that smoke isn't toxic. You can move over here. Okay. Please don't be mutons. Uh, well, they're floaters. I was about to say, just miss already. I know you're not going to hit. Okay. So, yeah, that's annoying. They shouldn't get any shots, though, because of their, uh, the smoke I put there. Oh, he was totally supposed to miss that. You kidding me, grrr. Whoa, where are you going, buddy? Hi there. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Um, sniper. What can you do for me? This guy's a problem. He's too close. Let's kill him. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You can take a shot on that guy. I don't like that shot, so I'm going to move you over here. There we go. Now you can take a shot on that guy or this guy. I have a 73% chance to hit. Oh, darn it. Oh, hey, you hit him. Not enough, but you hit him, so that's fine. Okay, you're flanked. Um, pretty badly. So I'll move you over here. Really? You can't, you can't shoot this guy? Are you sure? Well, I'll think about what to do with you in a minute. You are in okay cover. You are also in okay cover. 69% chance to hit A, I'll take that. Drat. Oh wow, I could actually use the stun thing right here. Could, hmm. That would use up his turn though. And getting, and bringing it back alive actually isn't all that great because I've already, I've already interrogated one, so Bring it back alive will just be exactly the same as killing it. Actually, no, it'll be worse than killing because I won't get a corpse from it. Yes! Two kills! All right, see, this is what... Wait. He didn't get a kill there? Oh, the camera angle went... Turned like he did get a kill. What would have, this is why you go with that perk that allows him to get two shots in one turn. Oh, that would be dashing? Really? That stinks. Aha, that's not dashing, though. And from there, he can do nothing! Hooray! Okay, still not sure what to do with you. Um... You have the same amount of health as my heavy right now, so I'll just go ahead and take a shot with you. Oh, well. Luckily, these guys don't have grenades. I doubt he'll hit. Yep. The Let's find that. Well, on the bright side, I'm killing all these guys now instead of later. So that means there'll be fewer guys defending the UFO when I get to it. Well, that's assuming these floaters don't kill my entire squad. Oh dear. Well, hey, he might get a shot though and make some kind of amazing kill, right? Yeah! Boo! Oh, yes! Awesome! Why did you panic? You're not being shot at. Wow! Wow! Incredible! Well, that's basically what I was going to do with their next turns anyway. Really? Uh huh. Pretty bizarre how they lost all their turns though, like that. You're flanking that guy, 92 cent per chance, percent chance to hit. Oh my goodness, words. That's fine. Okay, now we just have one guy left, and our sniper had better hit it because, oh my god, I'm so screwed if he doesn't. In fact, 
I'm even going to use the headshot just to make sure I get the kill. Sweet. Okay, so all in all, that was a pretty um, nice encounter. We took some damage though, but that's okay. I killed, what, six floaters? That's probably half, over half, the enemies on this whole map. Now we can heal and reload and do stuff and be all fine and dandy for next, for the next encounter. I do need to get my medkit guy out, though. First, he'll heal himself. Then he'll go heal our heavy. Reload. You can just dash over here. I'm really annoyed that I forgot to give this guy a laser rifle. It's not that big of a deal, but it is still a bit of a problem. Quiet. Did you hear something? Next turn, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, well, never mind, never mind. I guess I am going somewhere. Actually, no, I guess I won't. I'll everyone just sit tight right where they are. And go into Overwatch so that when those mean old floaters crest the hill, we can blow their faces off. So yeah, you go into Overwatch, and you go into Overwatch. Hey, hey, you! Overwatch. You... Yeah, I'll put you in Overwatch, too. Alright, so they should come up over the hill now. I was about to say, please, please don't make me think I wasted the whole turn. Both missed! Dang it. Every single squad member is shooting. Yes, there we go, there's one. And you missed, but oh well. But wasn't that so cool though, how everyone took a shot? And as long as it looks cool, everything's all right. And you can reload. You should reload, but I'm going to actually use you to heal him. Don't move. You'll be fine. There we go. And yee! Yikes! Don't run up there. Oh no, no, no. The other guy's probably in Overwatch or something. No, no, don't, don't go that way. There we go. You run around back. Go into Overwatch. Thanks, I kind of like your position right there. You stay in Overwatch right there. Oh, hello. Nobody, nobody's going to take that Overwatch shot? Alrighty, well, I guess I know who's getting the last med kit. Hey, Thin Men! I can capture them. I don't know, I'm out of med kit shots. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Eh. Alright, so I'll move you right here. There we go. You got a nice flanking shot. You'll kill him this turn. Alright, and then you can move there. Go into Overwatch. You can... Stay right where you are and go into Overwatch. You Overwatch over here. Well, next turn. Who has the zappy thing? He has the zappy thing. Okay, cool. That's actually who I wanted to have the zappy thing. You hover down. I won't. I don't want to have you shoot yet. And use the last healy on this that guy. There we go. Well, I hope it was all worth it. Yeah, so I hope to walk away from this with a bunch of stuff I can sell. And also, um, hopefully... 
sorry, hopefully a uh, dead, or er, sorry, a captured Thin Man. I'm kind of hoping he misses that. Well, drat. Oh crap. I guess I shouldn't have put them all in Overwatch. Dang it! Those are probably the last thin men I'd ever see, too. Oh well, it's not a big deal I couldn't capture a thin man, but it's just it's kind of annoying because I wanted to. And I, I, I could have. Oh well, oh well. Not a big deal, really. I doubt capturing them would really give me anything all that great. Like, capturing a live Muton gave me a bit of a discount on plasma weapons, which is nice, but it's not... I mean, that's not that great. So I, I, I doubt capturing a live Thin Man really would give you that great of a reward. So I'm not, I'm not too bummed out about it. I'm just glad we're all still in one piece, really. So we're obviously going to storm in the front here. I'm pretty sure that's all the aliens. So I'm actually just going to run him all the way up to the front. There might be a sectoid commander in there. I, if, if we've already run into mutons, we'll probably run into some sectoid commanders at some point soon. Man, look at him go. So, yeah, I'll have to deal with that, but whatever, that's fine. Man, that's a long way. And I'm rather annoyed that they all are taking the very long, slow path down with their climbing. And you go over there. These actually are not walls right here. You can, you can walk through those. But I want to take the door because the door is narrower. I can bottleneck my enemies more easily there. All right, let's pop open the door and see what we can see. Probably nothing. Yeah, I didn't expect to find any bad guys there. Yep, yep, yep. They're probably there are only one or two enemies left, and they're all in this central compartment here. There are probably some mutons in there, and that's no big deal. So I think I'll focus everyone on this side of the ship because reasons. Sometimes the game bugs out and you can see this middle compartment from the uh, front here, which is annoying because then the enemies will spawn and start running around. But it looks like they're, uh, they're fine at the moment. Not running around. Now, unfortunately, the sniper is not really very useful at this point. But, oh, well, I got some great use out of him, so I'm okay with that. I think I'll skip ahead to where I actually find some aliens. What's behind door number one? Or I guess this is door number two now. A whole lot of nothing! What's behind door number two? Or, I guess, no, this is three. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Nothing? Please take great care in returning it to the base. Yes, in Dr. One Ballen. Piece. Shut up, Dr. Ballen. Nothing at all. Ugh. What's behind door number three slash four? <sighs> one energy being. And I'm flanked, too. That's annoying. Well, I'll run up alongside it and flank it. Hello, friendo! Another one down. Good work, Commander. Man, I can't believe it. All that maneuvering. For one freaking energy being. Well, whatever, anyway, we got it. 
Cool. Awesome. Shredder rock, please. Thank you. And Sergei Yusev is wounded yet again. I am so glad to be back on team. I am I am happy to serve. Well, I don't need all these floater corpses. 15 is all I ever keep on hand, so we'll get rid of that. Any damage stuff? Oh, I didn't get any damage stuff. Oh well, I did get $40 though. I'll take $40. And my satellites will be done soon, too. Probably not before my next mission, though, but that's fine. Now, before I do anything else, who got that other s rifle? Ah, I'll worry about that later. Uh, right now, though, let's go to engineering before I forget, and let's buy some carapace armor. Yes, because that stuff is amazing. I can actually get two? Yes, let's do it. Two carapace armors. Awesome. Carapace armor is so good. I want to have it for all of my guys. I mean, Titan armor is amazing, but it's expensive. Okay, laser sniper rifle. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um... I'm going to get the UFO power source now. Okay, now how much does a laser sniper rifle cost? $29. <laughs> I can get you $29. Oh wait, before I start selling things, what does it require to build? 21 alloys. Okay. So don't sell your alloys. Let's see. $29. Don't sell the flight computers or power sources. I was very stupid last night. Oh, $40. Heck yeah. Sell, 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 sell. Bad idea. Don't do that. I need $29. I'll sell some of this stuff. Bam. There we go. That one hard to get. And now we can buy this sniper. Fantastic. Cool. So now, we can just wait until our satellites are done. Hooray! Satellites. What do they want? Yeah, sure. I'll take $75. Thank you very much. And the lab's done. Fantastic. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Secure oh. transmission coming in now. A special council mission. Let's see. Panic reduction in all countries. Five scientists and $118. <laughs> that is not even... Discretion. That No, I don't even have to consider that. Yes, yes, yes. That's not a question. I will absolutely, I will absolutely do it next time on Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown because I don't really have enough time to do a, to do a full mission. So, yeah, see you then. Bye.